Mmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take all, all the world. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plans for a super battery around, have you? No, just these world domination plans of Purple's. Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. 
Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Good thing he didn't drink that stuff. Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. I don't need to take over the world. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Hoagie would really love these. There's no label, it's probably blank. It's sticking out. Wow! This is loud! It's pretty small. It won't budge. It won't budge. Whew. Now where did Dr. Fred go? Aren't you weird, Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? 
No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. Hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... How are the folks? Where Dad's in the basement doing an experiment, Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon, Ted's in the front yard... Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye! Peace be with you. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. Hello, little computer. I respect you, even though you've only got 64K of memory. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. That's exactly what I don't want to do. Boy, he's been working out since the last time I saw him. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Hey, want to see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express stamp. You ruined my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Negative feelings. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. Get out of here. Hi, Ed. Don't push it, man. Don't make me do something I'll regret. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. 
Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Creepy. Must be an Edison. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the fever. It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Baby, what a man! You ain't kidding, precious! It's Dr. Fred's office. Nothing going on in there. I see a large pulsating lump with blue stripes on it. Boy, she looks even worse than she did five years ago. I see a large pulsating lump with blue stripes on it. Something strange is going on in there. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? No, my name is Threepwood. Nice try, but I never forget a face. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice! How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily, nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me? I only drink decaf. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery, huh? Fred might have something like that. Fred is the one who told me to find them. Oh! I was just admiring your statue. since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's 
the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. It's not exactly the Ritz. No time for that now. I'm saving the world from Purple Tentacle. It's stuck. It's already open. Hmm, a handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque. I'd rather not. Conditioning, I guess. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night at the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we novelty good salesmen know how to have a good time! Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Quixote? That's strange. My wife says I look like King Charles the First. So, want a cigar? Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Well, suit yourself, boy. Disgusting. No use in doing that, it's empty. Looks like they all escaped. Will ya? I can't get hold. Of. 
Jumpy little sucker. I'm attracted yet repulsed. I'd rather not. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? So where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. Do oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit! That cracks me up every time! Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Corleone? That's strange. My wife says I look like the ghost pirate LeChuck. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? It was at this moment that Bernard knew he fucked up. I told you it was a bad habit. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. I hate that clown. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. Who knows what surprises await inside? It's a fine funnel. Hmm, brown water. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. Actually, I'd call this more of a threak. The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. It's closed. Hey, 
Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. You haven't changed a whole lot. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend Hoagie. He's a roadie for a heavy metal band. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Nah, didn't think so. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. I mean, my best friends are stranded in time. I hope they're able to get power to their Johns. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Hey, Ted. Well, it's really dirty. He looks like he's in a hurry. He could easily overpower me. He could easily overpower me. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Drat. It must be one of these. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Drat. It must be one of these. Maybe this one. It must be one of these. Keep out. Area contaminated with industrial waste. What beautiful, clear water.
I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. I figure this is about $876,600 worth of quarters. 1968? 1974? Ooh, 1977! It looks like a generator driven by a tread. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! To do. To do. I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flush them. Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Ogie! Come over here! It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude.
so as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. There's something in the chronogon. 